This person here says, John Moxley is something else. I just love how he nonchalantly announced Renee's pregnancy in his promo on Dynamite. I had to process it for a good 20 to 30 seconds, and then I realized the entire thing. That was quite the pregnancy announcement right there. I've never seen one quite like that. Guy cutting a promo about a, a match coming up on a, on a pay-per-view, and he just nonchalantly throws out there. My pregnant wife at home. I was, I was very happy to hear that news because I think that guy is he's pretty excited about this. You see a guy like John Moxley, blood, violence, glass, barbed wire. Think about, man, this guy's going to have a kid and his whole life's going to change. Whole life is going to change. I'm very excited about that. I wonder how many bumps in the glass he's going to be taking now that it's official. You're excited. Have you ever been disappointed to find out the news that somebody was having a baby? I don't like to talk about those things on the air, Mike. Oh, so you've been rooting against somebody? I mean, you want to I've call never, I've never rooted against somebody, but... <laughs> you don't have that one friend that really would screw up a lot, do some crazy stuff, messed around, got somebody pregnant, went... No, it's not like that, but it's like sometimes, sometimes you know somebody and they've got like four kids and their life is complete chaos and it's just complete insanity. And all of a sudden you find out they're having a fifth kid. It's like, <laughs> what?! A big Catholic family, 17 kids uh, going going crazy. Dude, oh, you can hey. have as many kids as you want. I got no problem with it. But, like, you know, sometimes that's the first thing that I think. I got two kids, and life is complete chaos. So if I all of a sudden found out that we were having three kids, I would expect somebody else to go, what are you thinking, dude? That's a lot of kids. Imagine if you were Heath, Heath Slater. That all guy's got kids running around. Actually, I don't know how many kids he actually has, but. <laughs> that's all I was talking about. This person, I still can't believe how Moxie casually just dropped the news of Renee being pregnant in a tough guy wrestling promo on national TV before just moving on to the next line. It's awesome. There's nobody like him. It's true, there is nobody like him. <laughs> and I, I had actually a lot of people asking this question, and I don't think this is it, but like so many people ask. Everybody wants so badly for AEW and NXT, or I'm sorry, for AEW and New Japan to have a working agreement, that when Moxley was laid out mysteriously backstage, I, I literally had multiple people email or text and say, please tell me it was Kenta. Oh, no. I don't think it was Kenta. <laughs> I don't think it was. It Kenta. probably was was Lance Archer. Yeah, but I mean, that would be pretty cool. I don't think it's happening. It would be, but you know, one thing if if people like that connection, he was able to slip in there that he is a champion on two different continents. So that was a a nice touch by him without being too obnoxious about anything. Threw that line in there, just like he he said he was going to have a kid, and and on he was going. So I thought did an excellent job that way by mentioning it but not drawing attention to it. Great promo. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.